Hello YouTubers! This time I've tested another hydrogen lithium ion cell from Samsung, INR186525R. r It supports continuous discharge at up to 20 amps and is rated at 2500 mAh. Let's remind you my testing conditions and move to the results of the test. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5 mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9 mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5 mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell which I've tested has the following marking. INR186525R, Samsung SDI 52H62. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Nominal capacity 2500 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.6V. Standard charge current 1.25 amps, maximum charge current 4 amps, charge cutoff current 100 milliamps, charge end voltage 4.20 volts, maximum continuous discharge current 20 amps, discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts, AC impedance less than 18 milliohms, maximum weight 45 grams. The measured weight of my cell was 43.59 grams. And the measured DC internal resistance was around 15 milliohms in fully charged condition measured at 2.5 amps. At 0.2C or 0.5 amps, Samsung INR186525R gave out 2608 milliamp hours or 9565 milliwatt hours. At 5 amp discharge, 2469 milliamp hours or 8665 milliwatt hours. At 10 amps, 2470 milliamp hours or 8320 mWh. At 15 amp discharge, 2470 milliamp hours or 8151 mWh. At its maximum 20 amp discharge, the result was 2446 milliamp hours or 7830 milliwatt hours. At the end of the day, we have a great hydrogen cell whose capacity doesn't go below 2400 mAh even at 20 amp discharge. At 0.2C or 0.5 amps, it showed 100 mAh more capacity than the manufacturer declares. 25R is definitely a good choice. That's all I would like to tell you about 25R. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave your thoughts in the comments. Bye bye.